Which tool can we use to split bamboo? To split bamboo, we need to open a crack with a blade. One, three. So this blade doesn't attach to the bamboo. This and then to push the blade to separate the fibers. We don't really cut the bamboo into strips, we rather push the fibers apart. For this, we can just use a knife. Sometimes, we need a mallet or a hammer to push the blade. We can also use a bamboo splitter, which is a specific tool to cut strips of equal width. The pole and the center the screw for using suction. And then hit with the mallet. What about the bamboo splitter here? We cut a flat top. I beveled it on the edge. Won't really hold a sharp edge because it's not. For very long bamboo carms, some craftsmen use a machete. Kalu is one of the most commonly used fishing accessories in Assam. It is a small conical shaped creature. Here they use an axe. And we can even use big splitters made of anything we have on hand, like a metal bar. Or bamboo, of course. Now we place it on our frame here. And push it through. How to immobilize the bamboo when we split it. For short bamboo and precise work, craftsmen use a wood support to work in the sitting position. A wood support also prevents from damaging the base of the bamboo. And the blade can safely hit the wood support without damage, like here. For long bamboos, there are different strategies. Some people can just crack the bamboo while standing, others use the ground as a support. And some add a small support to avoid damaging the blade, like in these examples. With the core equal pieces. Sometimes it can be convenient to work in oblique position. Here he maintains the bamboo with a saw horse. So how do they split? First they put the blade exactly where they want to split. Then they open a crack and then they push the blade by hand. Or they use a hammer to help. Or like here, she hits the blade and the bamboo all together against the wood support. With a splitter, we can use a hammer to start. And then 
And then we push with the handles. After having cut into two halves, we can repeat the process to create narrower slats. When the slats become too narrow that they are too flexible, craftswomen and craftsmen hold the bamboo and crack bit by bit. Away from your body. You it resists more the at the level of the nodes, but it's very easy between nodes. And did you notice the key gesture? Once they open the crack, they rotate their wrist. Like this, the gestures are minimized compared to pushing through the whole length. And the blade is more controlled, so it's safer. Everyone is doing this. For very long bamboos, they usually need to pull apart the halves with hands and the feet. Or just with the two hands. With a bamboo splitter, we also need to initiate a long crack and then insert the bamboo in the splitter and push or pull. And how to obtain slats of the same width? If we don't have a bamboo splitter, a simple way is to carefully position your knife or machete and hit softly to open the cracks. To obtain the same width visually, it's easier to open all the cracks first, like here. And then he separates the slats manually. Or, if you want to be very precise, you can even use a compass. Yes. 